This is now part three and the last part of this McFarland series for me. And like I previously said in part two, there will be a giveaway in this one. There is a giveaway in part one. If you want to enter today's giveaway and I'll tell you how to do so, you can choose from any of the figures that were shown in part one, part two, and today's video part three. And I think for this one, I did save the best for last. There's a lot of good ones in here, so let's get started. All right, first one and my favorite player, once again, Manny Ramirez. This is one of the early ones without the Major League logo. And sticking with the favorite player theme, again, Manny Ramirez in the Dodger uniform. And in this one, he does have the famous dreads. Next, we have Big Mac. Mark McGuire, at one time, was the home run king with 70 in one year, before Barry Bonds broke that record, of course. This one is one of the early ones as well. Jersey just says McGuire, no Major League logo on that one. Here we have Jason Giambi in the New York Yankees uniform. When you think of Giambi, do you think of the Yankees or do you think of the Athletics? Because I still think of the Athletics personally. But here he is in the Yankee uniform. Carlos Delgado. Got three righties, two lefties. Can I get another lefty here? Let's see, random draw, let's see who we get. We did not get a lefty, and we didn't get a batter. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I did already show this one. This one is a duplicate, so I do have two of these. Number, Number two, two, Derek Jeter. I always thought it was weird how the announcer would say the number, the name, then the number for the Yankees. But I guess you never forget, so. Next one, as we called him as a kid, Mike Pizza, New York Mets, Mike Piazza, I think I'll always remember him for his uh, home run in the first game back after the 9-11 attacks. I was 11 years old-ish, and I remember watching that game and just getting goosebumps when that happened. I have, and I didn't know, but I have three of these figures. I showed one in the first part, I showed one in the second part, and apparently now again we're going to show in the third part. But here he is, and I'll probably say it for the third time, the controversial Roger Clemens. I have no idea why I have three Roger Clemens. Roger Clem, Roger Clemens? Roger Clemenses? I'm not a Yankee fan, not a Roger Clemens fan, but I have three of them. I don't know. This one is an early one, no MLB logo. I think these ones are my favorite ones just because they remind me of when I first started collecting these things. McFarlane, the creator of these, first made hockey and baseball, and neither of those had actual NHL or MLB logos. So when I pull those ones out or when I see those when I'm selling them, I get this memory just being a kid again and displaying these around my room. The smell of the paint when you first open them, which is a very distinct smell, just brings back a lot of memories. But anyway, here is A-Rod. Again, no logo on there, but intended to be when he was with the Seattle Mariners. Alex Rodriguez. Again, another controversial player. You think he should be in the Hall of Fame? Here's a great player, performance enhancers. Okay, so before we get any further, we still have quite a few. I'm gonna tell you how you can win any of these, or one from part two, or one from part one, or any that are in this container here. Your choice. This one's gonna be a two-step process here. You need to go to Instagram and you need to follow Baseball Rittner. And once you've done that, comment on this video. So you're going to have to come back to YouTube, comment on this video, your Instagram name, plus the player that you would like to win. And we'll pick a winner sometime this week. We'll actually be picking two winners, one from the first video we did and one from today's video. So again, go to Instagram, make sure to follow Baseball Rittner, and then comment on this video here on YouTube, your Instagram name, plus the player you wanna win. Easy as that. Okay, let's continue. We are now witnessing his son tear it up on the diamond. Any guesses? You probably guessed it, but this is Vlad Guerrero, Vladimir Guerrero, or Vlad Sr. Now that we have Vlad Jr. as such a household name for any baseball fan out there. And what's weird to think is at my age is that there are some young baseball fans that don't even remember seeing this guy play or even know that this guy played but this guy could hit anything it didn't have to be in the strike zone it didn't even have to make it to the catcher's mitt this guy would swing out a ball after it hit the dirt and still hit it 
Speaking of a guy that could hit a ball after it hit the dirt, this guy was great at doing that. Also a great bunter, as shown by this figure. Seattle Mariner great, Ichiro Suzuki. This next player was a big name when I was younger, and I honestly kind of forgot about him. He was a ranger, he was a tiger, he was an amazing catcher, and that is Ivan Rodriguez, or as most refer to him as Pudge Rodriguez. Another Ichiro Suzuki, different figure this time. This one is not bunting. It's the same as the Cubs one here, but just in the Boston Red Sox jersey. This one here, never was a big fan of his. First baseman Todd Helton. And the reason that I was not a big fan of his was before I even really knew who he was as a kid, I was in a baseball card shop and I remember a guy paying quite a bit of money for a box of cards and he opened up right there in the shop and you were guaranteed to get a game used and I think signed card. He was all excited and he opened it up and it was a Todd Helton card. And I remember the guy saying he would have rather had anyone else in the world than a Todd Helton signed and game used card. He said he wasted all his money. So just in my mind, I remember thinking, okay, I guess I don't like Todd Helton now. I was an impressionable kid. Next one, we got another Manny Ramirez in the original packaging. This one actually for the uh, Red Sox. I believe it's the same stand, same figure as the Dodger one. Again, my favorite player here, Manny being Manny. Not too many left. We had him in part two, I believe for the Red Sox, but this time he's with the Diamondbacks and that is Kurt Schilling. Again, every time I say his name, I think of that bloody sock. All right, these ones are the only ones that I have like these, but McFarlane actually started making these miniature models. And so here we have a tiny Derek Jeter compared to the actual size. The other small one I have is a, again, super tiny Barry Zito. So if you do enter the giveaway and you want these small ones, I'll give you both the Jeter and the Zito if you win. Again, I don't know why I have duplicates, but another Jason Giambi, this one doesn't have a bat. Maybe I got this one from like a garage sale or something as a kid. This one's a pretty neat one, a classic one, a Cooperstown collection, I believe these classic ones are called. And here we have a Yogi Berra, famous for his Yogi-isms. And if you got any good ones, you can leave a comment below. Another Cooperstown collection. We have Reggie Jackson in the Yankee uniform. I probably would say I think of him as a Yankee more than an athletic. And the last one, the very last one, showed you this one in part one, the Barry Bonds uh, point to the sky after a home run. And I have the same one, different colored jersey, gray jersey, and I showed you these mini figures here, but this one's the opposite. A 12 inch tall compared to the regular size here. Barry Bonds pointing to the sky after a home run. And this thing weighs a ton. And there it is. That is all my McFarland baseball collection. I have so many more hockey, so many more basketball, so many more football. Several of those are currently on auction and many of these will go up for sale too. So I'll be leaving a link below to where you can go to find several of these most of these if you're interested in purchasing. And if you wanna buy a Roger Clemens, I have three of them, so don't feel bad taking one or two off my hands. But that is it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, it helps immensely. And we will see you next week. <laughs>